Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to super awesome Rich Hacks for doing art. Isn't this exciting? I'm pumped. No, I had a really good question um, this morning, or it came in last night, I saw it this morning. Um, and someone asked about doing black on black. So say you're drawing something and this guy's or girl's pant leg is black, but you wanna have detail in the black and if you're drawing it yourself, you probably know the structure and could recreate this. But say you're inking someone else and they've drawn all this detail in here and you're like, what the hell? How am I going to do that? I mean, you can't go in and outline all this stuff. It's just going to look weird. So here is a hack for doing black, uh, white on black. So you're going to ink it just like normal and we'll kind of go through this fast. I'm not going to worry about the exact quality of it. It's more the the principle behind it. So anyway, I'm gonna ink it like I normally would. I just sketched this thing super fast. It probably took me three seconds to draw it. Um, so anyway, you, you, you're going in, you're inking all the stuff. And then ink the lines just like you normally would. So you go in and you're putting your thins and your thicks and you're sh creating all the folds, making sure that it looks cool. Okay. I'm in camera. Okay, let me do this. And remember what I said about a Hunt 102. A Hunt 102 tattoos the ink into the paper. It It's like a very, very sharp blade that's putting it, the detail that it does, it's very wet. I gotta be careful when I do this. Um, <laughs> This is gonna be crazy. All right, let me. I got a little paper on my nib. Let me just wipe this off real quick. Um, okay. So, but yeah. So it's tattooing the the line work into the paper, which has some interesting benefits. Okay. And I am gonna have to let this dry for a second. So I'll talk for a second. Um, I'll talk about tools. So I'm using a Hot One or Two Crow Quill. Um, the ink that I'm using is. Um, Koenor Ultra Draw. I don't think it's Koenor anymore. I think it's just the the brand um, is this. So this is the ink that I'm using. Just so you know, my fingers are already dirty. I've been inking for a few minutes. You pull paper off your nib, they're, they're gonna get messy. Um. So anyway, I'm I'm letting this dry because it does need to be dry. Um. This paper is the DC paper. I honestly don't know the exact type of board it is. It could be Canson. It could be Strathmore. It's okay. It's not great. It it's if. If I, I bought some paper that I'm going to start using, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so I'm letting this dry. Now, what I'm going to do is, I've got some ink here that I put just the tiniest bit of water in. And again, I have to wait until this is dry, or it's not going to really achieve the effect that I want. But anyway, so I take my jet black ink, and I put just the tiniest bit of water in it. So it still looks black, and I've lightened it a little bit for this demonstration, because I wasn't 100% sure what it was going to show up like on camera. So, let me just blow on this for a second. Okay, so we're gonna go in. This is kind of watery ink. Hopefully this works. It's a little darker than I want it, but we'll see when it dries. Um, and again, my, my fear is because this stuff is still damp that it may just pull this ink and kind of smear it all. We'll see. Try to be gentle with it, but anyway. So I'm filling it all in with black, and you're like going, "Oh my God!" And all that line work you put down is gone. What are you gonna do, Rich? This is the hack, though. I'm telling you. So anyway, like I said, the sink is a little bit more watery than I would have normally put down. But honestly, you could go as as sort of translucent as this can be. Give it a second to dry. Um, you you know, like Mike Mignola has very watery black inks and it actually looks very cool on the originals. But when you scan it, you know, you're leveling the piece. So um it uh I'm gonna blow on this first to let it dry. Um uh, when you scan it, you know, you can actually you know control the levels and the contrast and stuff like that. I'm just getting this dry. Stick it into my lamp for a second. And uh yeah, if you if you want the area to look jet black, it can. And and with the original, um, as long as your blacks are consistent overall with like a look, um, it's not bad. But anyway, so this is about dry. All right now, hopefully my camera can pick this up. Let me do this. I'm gonna pull my camera out of the holder for a second. I'm gonna show this to you in the bright light. Bright lights. Okay, can you see 
inside the black, you can actually see all the line work that I put. It's all there and actually quite clear to me. Um, I don't know if you can let me try it over here in the sunlight a little bit more. Can you see that? Hopefully the, the everyone's monitor is not super dark. Um, but anyway, but yeah, so I can see all the line work. So now I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick my camera back in this uh, holder. So again, probably like a 90% black or an 80% black. You can kind of experiment with it. Okay, and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my white ink and I'm using this. I've suggested this before. You can use any white paint that you want. This is Aeroflash, super opaque, white. It's an airbrush paint. Um, kind of expensive. I think this bottle is like 24 bucks and it'll last me uh, a couple of months. So um, what's nice about the Aeroflash is just that it, it kind of comes already sort of liquidy. Some, some whiteouts will come a little thick. I'm going to pour this in a little cup. I just use sometimes these, like the little medicine cups. Um, and you want to wash it out when you're done. What happens is um, if you, especially with this Aeroflash stuff, um, if you just sort of pour it back in the bottle and then don't clean out that cup, um, the Aeroflash will get pretty thick and chunky. Okay, so now I'm grabbing my white ink and my Croquil, all right? I have never had any luck with gel pens. I can't get them to work. And then look, I'm going in with the white. The paper's still just the tiniest bit damp. You see that? Whacka, whacka, boom, boom. I'm copywriting that right now. But yeah, I mean, it's great. I got a little tiny bit of paper on the end of this nib, but. So, look at that. We had a problem, and we solved it. We solved it together. Your good old buddy, Rich. And again, I, I for years I used uh, Pro White. It comes a little thick when you get it, um, but uh, it's not bad. You just have to dilute it a little bit. It comes like almost like um, like super thick yogurt or something. But you see what I'm saying? I'm just gonna draw some stuff in here just for for fun, just to show what I'm talking about. But I mean, I can I can make marks right on top of that. So if you were doing a character, like I think the example is Black Panther and you've got black costume, but you want to put a lot of detail, that's the hack. You know, you take your pencils, you ink them with your Hunt 102 Crow Quill, you wait till it's nice and dry, dilute your ink just a little bit, then come back in with white, baby. You're going to dial it in. You're going to blow away your friends and peers. They're going to go, how did you do that? And it'll be our little secret. All right? Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And go hit my Patreon page. I'm posting lots of free stuff up there, and it'll be more and more. That's the thing. I've only had it set up for a few days. All right? And then check out my other videos in the, the description box. I'll have links to that. And also my social media. Someone was asking about that. I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. I'm not very active on either one of those platforms, honestly. This is my haunt. This is where I like to be. We have wild parrots in my neighborhood, believe it or not. The story is years ago they escaped, and then they've been breeding. But there's like hundreds of them now, and they fly around. It's crazy. All right, so that's how you do it. Thank you. Bye.